Hi, I am Anna Malai. I am a student of Fiji's two-year medical integrated program, and I scored 695 in NEET 2024, and my rank is three thousand three hundred and forty-nine. And I chose Fiji because my seniors also studied in Fiji, and they told a lot of good things about Fiji and how they give dedicated care to each and every single student. So initially, I was quite skeptical because. When it comes for preparation for competitive exams, people usually start early, like sixth, sixth grade or eighth grade. But like I was going to start during eleventh, so I went to my seniors and asked them which coaching institute is best, and they mentioned Fiji because they themselves also started late around eleventh standard for their competitive preparation, and they told that the that when you start when you start preparing for a competitive exam, it doesn't matter when you start. But what matters is how much dedicated you are towards that preparation. And they told that, especially in Fiji, they give special care to those who start a little bit late. And uh, like they told, after I came to eleventh grade, after completing the boards, my fundamentals was a little bit weak compared to others. But despite this, the faculties were very patient in teaching me from ground up. After my tenth boards, I was in crossroads whether to choose engineering or medicine. I was like good in maths, but I felt more uh, interested toward biology, and I always had a curiosity about human body and its functions. So I felt that uh, medicine would be a better fit for me. So I chose to pursue a career in medicine. So during my later half of 10th grade i started preparing for fiji entrance exam for medical uh, integrated program called dna exam it was uh, quite a challenging exam because till this point in time like the cbse exams weren't built to be challenging they were meant to test whether you were understanding what was taught in class and whether you are able to replicate it so in dna exam they were testing our inner capabilities and our and our overall knowledge in the field of chemistry physics and biology but uh, only then i started to realize where i was standing and my competitors level and this in turn encouraged me to start working towards my goal more seriously because till 10th grade we weren't very competitive in nature we were quite like we will study for whatever it's required for the exam and then we will take our rest but for uh, but only after this dna exam did i realize that uh, the amount of effort i was putting was no longer enough and i had to work much more harder if i wanted to achieve what i wanted so after my dna exams and i got admission in the two year integrated program i was quite unaware of the matters related to neat and how the fiji was going to function with its like various exams and uh, classes etc but my fiji faculties were quite uh, patient in helping me understand each and every single concept as well as how the course was going to function i didn't have much knowledge outside of what was being taught from ncert so i felt it that it was a little bit uh, hard for me to cope up but uh, my faculties helped me uh, greatly by explaining each and every single concept from a uh, grassroot level not only that they uh, encouraged me greatly after each and every single exam after uh, each exam when i improved my my faculties would encourage me and uh, give me guidance on how to do even better so the integrated program contained a lot of like minded people who are also striving for for the same dream that i shared and it was a uh, quite a unique experience because till 10th grade we will be like surrounded by people with different ambitions different goals and a lot of them will be having different dreams that they want to achieve but this was a first time for me to be surrounded by so many people sharing the same goal as me and it was quite fun because we would like uh, like ask difficult difficult questions to each other we will like try to challenge each other after each and every single exam and it was quite fun despite the journey being difficult i wouldn't call it miserable or uh, or rather i would call it as stress free my routine after completing my classes in fiji would usually look like this where i would first revise what was being taught in the class 
Later, I would solve the respective packages of that topic. If possible, I would also prepare for the exam that was being scheduled. Almost every week, we will be having a test based on what was being taught that week. And uh, the tests were often made such that they would not only test whether my daily routine will usually involve uh, involve revising what was being taught in the class, solving the respective packages and preparing for the upcoming test that was being scheduled. I always believed in the balance that uh, for how many hours you are studying, at least a fraction of that you should spend for entertainment because too much of anything is bad. Uh, for example, a lot of people say they are uh, uh, gadgets are a distraction for them but I believe that if we were to give them a allocated time in which you uh, you use your gadgets it would no longer be a distraction but instead it could become a stress buster for me personally my stress buster was watching movies so my biggest advice to those who are going to prepare for NEET or uh, any competitive exams in general is to uh, plan out your schedule the day before because uh, at any given time there will be a lot of things that you want to do or a lot of different chapters that you want to revise or study new but like putting them on paper will help to like clear clear thought process of what you want to do and how you want to do it so yeah creating a schedule the day before is my biggest uh, advice to those who are planning on pre preparing for competitive exams in general so I would like to thank all my Fiji faculties and the staff and the coordinators who are always there to guide me and schedule various doubt clearance classes for me to help uh, in my need preparation. Uh, thank you Fiji.